Hello friends. In today's session, we will try to understand a basic about GMU Simulator 8085. As far as a microprocessor 8085 is concerned, we are studying the assembly level numbers programming level. To get a clear and better understanding about all those topics, it is very important to implement those assembly level numbers program in a simulator where you can understand actually what a particular assembly level numbers instruction are doing. For that, we are, do have a GMU simulator 8085 to help us out. Fine. So, let's just begin with basic about GMU simulator. You can see on the left hand side, we have that is accumulator, EC register, PE register and HF register. As far as these registers are being concerned, they are known as the general control registers. Here B and C can be used as a pair, B and E can also be used as a pair, H and L can also be used as a pair. As far as PSW is concerned, it is a processor status word or a program status word. Program counter is available in another register than stack counter. Right? As far as PSW, PC and stack counter are concerned, we will get into it later in a later part of the video or in a, another video. Right? Uh, you can also see on uh, here we do have a flag that is sign flag, zero flag, auxiliary carry flag, RAT flag and carry flag. Right. On the right hand side, we do have a, under the keypad tab, we do have all the instructions which are available under the banner of k instructions, microprocessor. And on the next step that is memory, we do have a address in terms of hexadecimal, address in the terms of decimal and data will be stored in terms of a decimal. But when it is going to be taken into the memory, it is going to be converted to hexadecimal. And let's start with very basic that is addition between two numbers using a immediate mode of address. If I am writing that is NDI A, 87 H, it means that a operand 87 is going to be stored in a accumulator. When you do have operand itself in the instruction, it is known as immediate mode of address. I am writing next instruction that is NDI B, 01 H. And next I am writing that is add B. And finally, I am writing the instruction for it. Let me see that what this particular, how this program is putting the instruction are going to be executed. And just doing that is assemble. Assembled successfully. With the, this arrow key, you can just do a step by step execution. Jump start. Just to remove. And on it. But you can see that. Here we need to remove all this process that is so that our execution can be done in a proper manner. Let me assemble it again. MDI in comma 87H, it means 87 is going to be stored in accumulator. 01 is going to be stored with the B register and add B, that is addition final answer will be available at accumulator itself. So you can see that A trade is available. As far as 88 is concerned, it is going to be written as 1 followed by triple zero and again 1 followed by triple zero. You can see that as most significant bit is 1, we are signed with goes to 1. Parity. You can see that here even parity is signed, there is a reason parity flag is also 1. And so I hope this is very basic example or basic session related to GMU simulator. In next video, we will write into a uh, various other instruction under the banner of GNU Simulator 8 unit. I hope you know that you got a clear understanding about the concept. Thank you. Okay. In this, uh, so we just uh, conclude over here. If you are uh, very clear with the concept, then you uh, request to like the video and do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you.